In this video, we will be diving into the strange changes in the prostate of men who masturbate daily. The last two key points will amaze you. Let's go. Prostrate is a small gland, but it plays a big role in a man's health, producing seminal fluid, crucial for reproduction. Yet for many men the prostate remains a mystery. They don't fully understand its function or the factors that can affect it. This lack of understanding can lead to anxiety. Men often wonder about the impact of their habits on their prostate health. Is it good? Is it bad? Is there a right amount? These questions swirl in their minds fueled by myths and misinformation. The internet can be a breeding ground for false claims. It's important to approach prostate health with evidence-based information. Men deserve to understand how their bodies work. By delving into the science, we can empower men to make informed decisions. We all have daily habits, routines that shape our lives. Some habits are beneficial, like brushing our teeth or eating a balanced diet. Others, not so much, like smoking or excessive alcohol consumption. But what about masturbation? This common practice, often shrouded in secrecy and shame, is a natural part of human sexuality. Yet many men wonder about its potential impact on their prostate health. Masturbation, in the simplest terms, is self-stimulation for sexual pleasure. It's a normal and healthy activity enjoyed by people of all genders and sexual orientations. However, the frequency of masturbation can vary greatly from person to person. The truth is, every man is different, and there's no one-size-fits-all answer. The key is to listen to your body and make choices that feel right for you. If you're concerned about the frequency of your masturbation or its potential impact on your prostate health, consult with a healthcare professional. Before we delve into the specifics of how daily masturbation affects the prostate, it's crucial to understand the gland's primary functions. The prostate is often described as a walnut-sized gland, but its size can vary depending on factors like age and overall health. It sits nestled below the bladder, encircling the urethra, the tube responsible for carrying urine and semen out of the body. This strategic location highlights the prostate's dual role in both urinary and sexual function. The prostate's primary function is the production of prostatic fluid, a milky white substance that makes up a significant portion of semen. This fluid is rich in enzymes, zinc, and citric acid, all crucial components for sperm health and motility. During ejaculation, the prostate contracts, propelling this nutrient-rich fluid into the urethra, where it mixes with sperm from the testicles to form semen. Therefore, a healthy prostate is vital for a man's reproductive health and overall well-being. Now, let's address the elephant in the room masturbation. If you have watched this video up to this point, kindly take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime we upload interesting videos like this. As we've established, it's a normal and healthy sexual activity. But how does this solitary act affect the prostate gland? During sexual arousal, blood flow to the penis increases, leading to an erection. This increased blood flow also affects the prostate gland, causing it to swell slightly. Masturbation, with or without ejaculation, triggers this physiological response. The stimulation involved leads to the same blood flow changes in the pelvic region, including the prostate. This means that even if ejaculation doesn't occur, the prostate still experiences increased blood flow and temporary engorgement. Just as lifting weights repeatedly strengthens a muscle, some believe that regular sexual activity, including masturbation, can help keep the prostate toned and functioning optimally. However, it's important to note that the prostate is not a muscle in the traditional sense. One of the key areas of interest when exploring the link between masturbation and prostate health is the role of prostatic fluid. During ejaculation, whether through intercourse or masturbation, prostatic fluid is released along with sperm. Some theories suggest that regular ejaculation can help flush out the prostate, removing any stagnant fluids and potentially reducing the risk of certain prostate issues. More research is needed to fully understand the complex relationship between ejaculation frequency, prostatic fluid dynamics, and overall prostate health. One of the most frequently cited benefits of regular masturbation, particularly for prostate health, is its potential role in relieving prostate pressure. 
Many men experience a sense of fullness or discomfort in the pelvic region if they haven't ejaculated for a while. This sensation can be attributed to the buildup of prostatic fluid within the prostate gland. Regular ejaculation, whether through intercourse or masturbation, helps to release the built-up fluid and relieve the pressure. While this pressure relief is often described as a physical sensation, it can also have a psychological impact. For some men, the feeling of fullness in the prostate can be distracting or even anxiety-inducing. Regular masturbation can alleviate these anxieties and contribute to a greater sense of well-being. It's important to note that this pressure relief is temporary. Beyond the immediate physical effects, regular masturbation may also offer benefits through its influence on hormone levels. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, plays a crucial role in prostate health. While often associated with sexual drive and function, testosterone's influence extends far beyond the bedroom. Maintaining healthy testosterone levels is essential for men of all ages, but it's particularly important as men age and testosterone production naturally declines. While more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between masturbation and testosterone levels, some studies suggest that regular sexual activity, including masturbation, may help to regulate testosterone production. The act of arousal and ejaculation triggers a cascade of hormonal events, potentially stimulating the testes to produce more testosterone. While the physical benefits of regular masturbation on prostate health are still being explored, the psychological and emotional benefits are undeniable. Masturbation is a natural and healthy way to relieve stress, reduce anxiety, and promote relaxation. These benefits in turn can have a positive ripple effect on overall health and well-being. When we experience stress, our bodies release a hormone called cortisol. Chronically elevated cortisol levels can wreak havoc on our systems, suppressing the immune system, disrupting sleep, and even contributing to weight gain. Masturbation, by triggering the release of endorphins and other feel-good hormones, can counteract the negative effects of stress and promote a sense of calm. Moreover, masturbation can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and exploration. It allows individuals to learn about their bodies, their desires, and what brings them pleasure. This increased self-awareness can translate into greater confidence and satisfaction in all aspects of life including relationships. One of the most persistent myths surrounding masturbation is its supposed link to prostate cancer. This fear often stems from a misunderstanding of the prostate's role in the body and the factors that contribute to cancer development. It's crucial to understand that prostate cancer is a complex disease with multiple contributing factors, including genetics, age, and lifestyle choices. While research on the relationship between masturbation and prostate cancer is ongoing, there's no conclusive evidence to suggest that masturbation either causes or prevents this disease. Some studies have explored the possibility that frequent ejaculation might reduce prostate cancer risk. The theory behind this hypothesis is that regular ejaculation helps to flush out potential carcinogens from the prostate gland. However, these findings are not yet definitive and require further investigation. Another common misconception is that frequent masturbation can lead to prostatitis, an inflammation of the prostate gland. Prostatitis can be a painful and debilitating condition, often causing urinary problems, pelvic pain, and discomfort during ejaculation. However, it's important to distinguish between different types of prostatitis and their underlying causes. Acute bacterial prostatitis, the least common form, is caused by a bacterial infection and requires antibiotic treatment. Non-bacterial prostatitis, the most common type, is not caused by bacteria, and its exact cause is often unknown. While some men might experience temporary prostate discomfort after ejaculation, this is usually short-lived and not indicative of prostatitis. In fact, some experts believe that regular ejaculation might actually help to prevent certain types of prostatitis by promoting regular prostate fluid drainage. If you're experiencing persistent pain or discomfort in your prostate area, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. In the quest for answers about the ideal masturbation frequency for prostate health, it's easy to get lost in a sea of conflicting information and opinions. The truth is, there's no magic number. 
Just like any other aspect of personal health and well-being, the optimal frequency of masturbation varies greatly from person to person. Factors such as age, overall health, relationship status, stress levels, and personal preferences all play a role in determining what feels right for each individual. Some men might find that daily masturbation helps them feel relaxed and balanced, while others might prefer a less frequent approach. The key is to listen to your body and pay attention to any signals it's sending. If you're experiencing discomfort, pain, or changes in your urinary or sexual function, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional. Remember, masturbation is a normal and healthy part of human sexuality. We've journeyed deep into the intricacies of the prostate, a small gland with a big job. We've dispelled myths and explored the science behind the claims. The question, how does daily masturbation affect the prostate, has been examined. Regular ejaculation may help regulate prostate fluid and promote well-being. Increased blood flow can benefit prostate health. Men should not feel pressured to engage in or abstain from masturbation based on prostate health fears. Understanding the role of lifestyle in prostate health is essential. A comprehensive approach includes diet, exercise, and stress management. Nutritious foods, regular physical activity, and managing stress are key. Diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains supports prostate health. Exercise increases blood flow and promotes optimal function. Manage stress through meditation, yoga, or nature. Navigating the complexities of prostate health can feel daunting. Conflicting information, cultural taboos, and personal anxieties can make it challenging for men to seek the information and support they need. Open communication with healthcare providers is paramount. Your doctor is your ally in maintaining optimal prostate health. Don't be afraid to discuss your concerns, ask questions, and seek clarification. Your doctor can provide personalized advice based on your individual circumstances, medical history, and risk factors. They can also recommend appropriate screenings and tests to monitor your prostate health and detect any potential issues early on. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about your body and the factors that influence your prostate health, the more empowered you'll be to make informed decisions. Don't rely solely on anecdotal evidence or internet searches. Seek out reputable sources of information, such as medical journals, healthcare organizations, and trusted medical professionals. Finally, it's time to shed the shame and embrace sexual health as an integral part of overall well-being. Masturbation, a natural and healthy expression of sexuality, should be approached with positivity and self-compassion. Understanding its role in prostate health can alleviate unnecessary anxieties and promote a healthier relationship with your body. If you experience any persistent discomfort, pain, or changes in your urinary or sexual function, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. This video, a not medical advice, it is your responsibility to monitor yourself and consult your primary physician for medical advice and treatments. Early detection and treatment are crucial for addressing any potential issues and maintaining optimal prostate health. Remember, you are not alone. Please like and share this video so that others can watch just as you did. Millions of men share similar concerns and questions about prostate health. By fostering open communication with your partner, healthcare providers, and even trusted friends and family members, you can create a supportive environment for navigating these issues and embracing a life of confidence and well-being.